Howdy. Hello, dear watchers. Oh, how I've missed you. I wanted to try doing a different kind of video. It's a little bit like my past ones, where it's going to be showing a speed drawing of something. In this case, I'm showing what I was looking for. Which... I was looking for random pictures of animals, maybe, and then I remembered there's a site called Line of Action, and I just kind of stretched and overlaid them to get a very demented color scheme, I think, because green and purple is awful. Now, I've done uh, pictures in the past where I've gone over and like painted over abstract work, which the pieces in question were actual paintings my friend had done, uh, Amy Blue. So what I started off here with the overlaid images and such is we have a twisted gnarled branch and a couple of birds. I don't remember what kind of birds they are. Like, what are they, turkeys? Anywho, <laughs> my first, you know, thing is trying to figure out what to tackle with it, how I want to find a shape. So the first thing that I kind of noticed was the sharp edges of the overlaid feathers from where it cuts off from the darker neck and where that branch on the tree is. And so I thought maybe that would be teeth. And once I saw the teeth, I saw the eyes from the invertedness of the, uh, the red heads had turned green when uh, the layer was set to subtract. So I decided those will be the eyes for this monster and it just kind of jumped out at me. We got teeth and the texture of the bark makes a nice skin. I realized that the end of the bird's like underbelly and tail turned into a tongue and I just kind of told just drew in the lower jaw because I wanted to have its mouth agape. Uh, flipped one wing over to get it to mirror on the other side because I wanted some, you know, uniformity. Some gnarly twisted thing up in here. I also did that with the scales on the face, the bark to and shifted a few settings, got it to work to my liking, continued painting. There's a little gnarled hole in the branch trunk of the tree or whatever because it's the old dead tree and so I kept playing around with that through this whole piece, adjusting the hole. And I'm just, I just want to say I'm really happy with how this tongue came out. I just very, very much into gnarled monster tongues, because it's cool, right? At some point, I made the base of the tree into an arm, and then a lot of this is just rendering, adding more scales. Adding some more background elements, because I covered them all. Uh, playing with lighting effects, seeing if I liked any of it. I didn't, so I just drew in the highlights instead. And then towards the end, I believe, I start adding in a blue highlight. Oh yes, the slobber. I forgot about the slobber. And kind of playing with like getting that look of like there might be some nostril slits under this like nosy forehead horn. There's that highlight. Here I'm coming to kind of a finish because this is just supposed to be a quick thing. And with the final piece, I added some uh, blurry, blurry elements to it given that tongue a swishing motion blur to it and having sort of a, a blur to the background and the foreground. 
Yeah, make it all spooky like it's almost rushing at you and you're in its face. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. I mean, I spent like three hours working on it for the sake of just messing around and for the sake of this video. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy.